Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Um, it has been what feels like forever since I have done a video and I miss you guys. I have um, four little mini journals to show you that I've made. I'm trying to use up some of my stash of fabrics and um, paper pieces left over. Um, so this is the first of what I am calling the lovely ladies journals and I do have some more in the works hopefully I'll finish them by next week uh, larger uh, journals um, these are just little minis and I think they are they're all about the same size four by six ish um, single signature about 50 pages or so front and back and they will be in my Etsy shop today, June 8th at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll have all the details, how many pages, and the exact measurements um, in the listings. So uh, I just wanted to do quick uh, flip-throughs of them. I've used um, all of these images have come from the Graphics Fairy. And I also wanted to talk to you really quickly about that. Um, I know a lot of you know of the Graphics Fairy. I'll put the link down below for the website, but Karen over there is so generous with the amount of free vintage images that she um, provides for us to use. And I finally decided to join her premium membership on the website. And it is amazing. Um, I'm, I just want to do a quick review of it because if you're considering joining, definitely join. Um, it is worth it. I All of these images are from the premium membership. There are a lot of collage sheets, like full sheets with um, beautiful images on them. Uh, there, there's so many printables, extra printables once you join. And what I was most excited about, and I didn't even know this until I had joined, was included our Photoshop Elements tutorials, and lots of them. And I've had Photoshop Elements for many years, and I've never really mastered it at all. Uh, so I'm really excited about um, checking out those tutorials and hopefully learning how to make some of my own digital printables. Um, so I think that it is, I forget how much it was for the year, but I really do think it's worth it. The, the images that you can um, print out from the membership sheets uh, that are included are, are just beautiful. So that was, uh, I just wanted to <laughs> mention that and I will put the links down below like I said. So I just want to get through quick flip throughs of the four of these. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, they are all soft cover, single signature. I'm using up some upholstery fabric that I have collected. This one has a little charm on the spine. That's uh, some vintage buttons and a little vintage crystal from a necklace. On the front here, this lo lovely lady just slides right in. So you could even slip in, it's like just a little lace pocket. You could slip in a photo of your own. Um, a little, another little vintage button here. Seam binding closure. And let me make sure it's still in frame. Here we have a little pocket that's pinned in. A lot of the stuff that I've included can be moved around. Um, because these are so small, uh, you may not want extra bulk, but they are really the perfect size to just tuck in your bag and go. And I have embellished, but not highly embellished, so there's a lot of pages for journaling because they are smaller. Here's a little lace pocket that again can be moved. It's just pinned there with a little uh, couple of vintage looking rose petals and a little journaling card that just tucks in there. And this at least has been tea dyed. Some tea dyed vellum with a little sewn. I've used a lot of stuff that I've been gifted by um, two people, Lisa and Becky. Thank you guys in the Adventures in Booksmithing Facebook group. Um, so I've used some of the stuff that they've sent me in these journals and I'm so grateful for the great stuff that they've gifted me. Well, um, paper doily. I've done a little bit of stamping, some little fabrics. Everything's coffee or tea dyed. Another little paper and lace collage. Some punching. 
Here we have a pocket and it's full of little, oh, this is from Ephemer's Vintage Garden, but everything else um, is from the Graphics Fairy. A little floating pocket with some more snippets of papers in there. Here's a fabric covered journaling tag and then a little page from a vintage wildflower book. I think that's all that's in there. These pockets though will hold a lot if you you know have more stuff to tuck in. There's plenty of room. Ledger paper, stamping on graph paper. Love the color of that, the tea dye. Vintage music paper. I've done stenciling in this one. The French book. Here's a little uh, tuck, and here's a little mini journal. It's got uh, two oops, flip outs and then some scraps in the middle for some extra journaling. And a little clip with a snippet of fabric, and that just tucks right in this little tuck spot, but again, can be moved or removed. Here's a little flip out, a little pocket here in the back with some mini journaling cards and tags right in there. And that's the first one. Here we have another upholstery fabric, just a little bit different colors. This was one of the items Lisa made and gifted to me. I love these beads and uh, seam binding that I've tea dyed, a little pin with a vintage button, and a little pocket with a mini journal. And this is uh, a bunch of scraps, some sewing pattern, and then some little papers all sewn together. And then in the back here, this little pocket has a couple of tiny little tags, a, ta oop, a journaling card and a little ticket and they just slip right in there and again this can be removed if you have something of your own that you'd like to tuck in it's a nice little pocket right on the front oh in the back here we have a little bit of a doily with some more journaling that I just clipped on and inside a bit of a doily, a vintage um, chandelier crystal, There's a little bulb pin with a butterfly charm, and here we have a pocket with some journaling tags and cards. Look at, I just love that one. Let's slip right in, and again, plenty of space to tuck more in there. Here, I've, I love this, the edges, it's like a lace in it, then it's just a little tattered. The paper's so fragile, it, but I love that the punch did that. A little bit of fabric here, another doily. They're similar, similar papers inside. Um, a little bit of silk. Another, I just uh, glued that on. Here's some die cuts, layered flower with attach with the brad. Again the crinkly vellum coffee dyed a little stamp. Another little journaling spot, a tattered edge. There's a little and a rusty paper clip that I rusted and just a really grungy little snippet with some sewing, some extra journaling. Here we have another pocket with another little journaling and a wildflower book. I like, I think I've included, there are more in there. I've included a page from the wildflower book in each journal. A little postcard. Most of the journaling cards uh, that I printed I've distressed or coffee dyed on the back. And another little rose bead and a little bit of a doily and a vintage button. That's that one. Here we have uh, another upholstery fabric. 
these are like carpet bagger like mini carpet bagger <laughs> this was uh, actually a charm from a necklace I had when I was a child that I've saved another chandelier crystal and this is hanging from a bulb pin so she can be tucked right in if you like or removed in the back of the pocket the lace pocket has another little mini journal with a doily inside and this is some sari silk this actually um, was a giveaway from Stephanie um, at uh, Vintage Journal Studio on Instagram. I'll put the link down below. She has some wonderful videos on Instagram, but she had a giveaway and I won a bunch of goodies and some of it was sari silk. Here we have a fabric pocket and a little tag. All uh, graphics fairy printables. Fabric uh, covered tag. Again, very similar pages ledger, vellum, pocket with um, more little journaling cards, and these you could use to decorate some of the pages in the journals or uh, journal and tuck them away. Some fabric here on the edge and some stamping, a little charm and key and a crown again removable if it's in the way. In the center here a little flip out and a dyed index card there. Stamping. I've sewn, glued them and then just sewn a little through the die cuts that were also gifted to me. There's a little tag with some lace. Not sure if there's anything else in this pocket. Nope. That's it. Doily. A little bit of fabric. And again the tattered edge. Here's another the wildflower book. This is a nice size pocket. You can put a bunch of stuff in there. And there we go. And last but not least, I have a little vintage button here with some seam binding. Again, removable if it bothers you or in the way. A little journaling card gifted to me by Becky. Vintage button. Oh, on the back here we have a little journaling spot. Tucks right in there. And some coffee dyed seam binding. Here a pocket with a little journaling card, but again lots of space to tuck. And, and similar the music paper, the lined paper, lace on the edge. Punch. Here's another pocket with a journaling card tag, journaling tag. And some coffee dyed vellum, ledger, coffee dyed scrap paper, some stenciling, a little bit of a doily, and two little tags that tuck in with lace bits. The other side of the pocket, a little postcard. little paper ruffle, a little die cut flower that I've layered and it's attached with a brad, and another little pocket here, a little Tim Holtz paper, and a little journaling spot. So that's the four that will be um, in my Etsy shop today. And I really, these were so much fun to make. These little minis, I just love them. They are um, completely fabric, soft cover. And the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, and I'll put it down below, all the information. Um, on Instagram, 
Stacy at Love My Type One Girl has uh, started a challenge uh, for the summer. It's hashtag 5050 Journal Summer, and it's from June 1st until September 1st. And it's just really for fun um, to create 50 journals. They can be any theme, any size, um, and then you would post them as you uh, complete them with the hashtag 5050 Journal Summer. I'll put the info down below, and then you can check out um, Stacy on Instagram as well. And that is it for today. I hope everybody's doing well. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will be back soon, guys. Bye.